there is only one minority owned cannabis tech company in the United States, and it is owned by a man based in the DMV. CTV News reporter Bryce Parker has the story. You know, one of the things I always say is if we can have someone pick up a joint as opposed to picking up a pill, we did our job. It started with recreational use in high school, but now 42-year-old Otha Smith III is paving his way as a trendsetter in the cannabis industry. I saw how much benefit I got from cannabis, um, and that's what really started my journey to create Tetragram, because I noticed that given that it's been federally illegal for so long, there's not a lot of information that us as consumers or the industry as a whole can really leverage in order to make more informed decisions about the efficacy of cannabis use. But for Smith, a 2006 accident that almost took his life this propelled him into the success sure. story he is today. Right there. So I swerved to overcorrect, hit a guardrail, and was ejected about 30 feet from the car. And it was during his recovery that cannabis would prove to be a game changer in his life. So once I was released from the hospital, I was just prescribed a number of dangerous opioids and prescription pills to manage my pain. Um, did that for about three years, and that's when I said, you know, enough is enough, because we all know how nasty the side effects are with prescription pills. So I started to turn back to cannabis. 14 years later, Tetragram would launch in July of 2020. And in 2024, the app provides services for users in all 50 states. We want, at Tetragram, we really want to help empower not only consumers to understand the benefits of cannabis, make more educated buying decisions, but when we look at it as a whole, we want healthcare to understand that this is not just a lot of people who are just, you know, looking to get high or catch a buzz. And for those who are still skeptical, Smith says that the proof is in the data. You have men and women in their 70s and 80s that are visiting these dispensaries and finding a lot of relief with it. So showing you that data uh, will help compel you to say, wow, this is not something that just, you know, teenagers or young adults are using to have fun, but there's a real intention behind these purchases. Bryce Parker, CTV News.